Hi Sagittarius, I'm Dee, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be jumping into your energy and your person's energy to see what messages we have today. So a massive shout out to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for hitting that button guys, as well as everybody else who is returning. Thank you to everybody that has been investing in themselves within these programs guys and taking advantage of the promotion that I still have out. So when you do invest in any one of the four larger programs... I gift you a free coaching session with me. All right, I'm all booked out for this week, guys. So we will be looking into next week now. But I get the programs to you within 24 hours and also for the image readings. Um, some people have been booking the, the Twin Flame Union, which comes with the full image reading. Um, all of that is in the box below. So I get the reading out to you within a week now. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Fool card. Okay. For your person, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Star, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So I'm getting this, this in and out, in and out, in and out with your person. And for me, this is causing triggers, 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 triggers. All right, and it's about completely leaving the past in the past here. Divine Feminine. Now, I have been guided to bring out my um, inner child cards. It's like a, they're like, it's a gothic mystique. I don't know, I can't remember the actual name of the deck. Um, but for those of you that have booked the full image and the tower reading, you'll recognize these. So the reason why I've been guided, I mean, I've been guided to do so. I usually only do this for um, my clients. Um, the reason why I've been guided here is, is to show you, right, that if we are still operating out of past wounds, things that we haven't been able to, to connect within us, um, traumas that have affected our life significantly, um, this can come up within our now, right? And because it's, it's cycles playing out, playing out, playing out, and, these these programs are the tools for you to understand yourself a lot better. These programs give you the tools to to dive deep within yourself because I feel as if there is a lot of deception within your perception happening here, which is creating heartbreak for you, heartbreak for your person as well. And it's all about you being in your truth here with the Seven of Swords. Okay, it's about understanding these emotions and how your person's reflecting here because for me this is a cycle that's just been playing out and playing out and if you do not oh, that's the thing it's up to everything's up to you this is the most beautiful part to this journey within you right it's all about your perception and how you see things either you see things clearly right and it's it's coming out of this anxiety Right, because it's understanding it's about expansion here. Right? Hang on. The full fell. Okay, so let's jump into what what what's happened in the past that may be affecting here that's connected to your now. We have the World card and we have the Nine of Cups. You know, it's about creating with the World card here, for me, Divine Feminine, you are the creator of your own world. Right? I feel as if there's this sitting on the fence like, this is good enough. This is good enough. I had a 
a happy childhood. It was okay. It was, it was, how fulfilling was it? Because for me, it was, it was happy. It ran okay. Yeah, there was shit. But it's okay now. I'm getting this real settling energy here. So for me, it's about fulfillment. Fulfillment. Where's the fulfillment here? Because what I see with the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Fool card here. Yes, you are the creator of your world. But how are you fulfilling yourself here, Divine Feminine? I mean, by all means, if you're happy with just sitting on the fence, you wouldn't be because this, this is what's creating this, this, this heartbreak within yourself, right? And this search... And it's all about within you, right? You are the creator of your own world. For me, this is highly, highly, highly pulling me towards a twin flame union because it's about union with self. You know, there's been, uh, there's been times in the past where, I mean, I'm with my person now, um, where I was with my person before where he was, he would call me his partner. And this is all 3D. This is just an example. Um, but this is what, I'll get to the point. And everybody knew around us that me and him were together. So he was never hiding me. But I felt that he was hiding me because I was always trying to find fulfillment within him. I was, the things that I was doing, I was in addictions. I was addicted to working for other people i'm going to be really really honest because i was working 12 hours a day driving myself crazy for working for somebody else and just to live paycheck to paycheck i was always looking for my person for fulfillment and i was deceiving myself in doing so until i actually started to truly start doing things for myself. And that's what I find fulfilling. Yes, it's tough. Yes, they're going to test you. But it's knowing that you can do it. And it's putting that momentum, that fucking engine up your ass for you to become the best version of yourself because that is how you're going to fulfill yourself. For me, Divine Feminine, you're... You're carrying these, you're seeing things as burdens here. Everything is an experience for you to simply build yourself from. If there's situations that are happening within your reality, they will never give you anything that you can't take on and that you are not strong enough to do. And it's about using that, transmuting that, for your better good so if you're going through something that i don't know um you think is a burden how are you going to switch that up to make it not a burden to make it a positive that it will help you excel because this is this is you're deceiving yourself there's always, always a positive out of any negative situation. It is all within your perception here. And this is about, it's taking the risk and working hard for yourself to fulfill yourself. Right? Because of what I was saying between me and my person, uh, once I started to do things for myself, to learn, to have that independence and that love and that drive for myself. That is what's fulfilling for me because when I used to work in a 3D job, I used to, like I was saying, I used to get up early. I used to, 
make every excuse under the sun for not doing things and thinking that it was too hard because I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to do this. You find the third way of doing it. I used to get up at God knows what time in the morning just to get to my 3D job. Sometimes 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. And I, I, I stopped doing that because I started working for myself. And I realized, why am I not doing that? I was willing to get up so early in the morning for somebody else to earn that person money. And what do I do in that time for myself now when I wake up early? I show up for myself. Right? I have my still time where I let the downloads come in. I get up and I'm exercising. Right? I'm doing things within my schedule I'm prioritizing what I want within my life to to accelerate me to be my best possible version yes it's tough work but it's showing up for yourself and you are showing other people you are creating that momentum you are creating that ripple in order for you to truly truly come out of the sitting of the fence and you being the creator of your entire world here. It's it's moving with the flow as well. We come we all come across massive, massive challenges within our lives, but there's always a third way. Okay. Not digging into your past enough. Yeah, not connecting the dots here. All right, guys, so book me for coaching um, or the programs. If you don't have the programs, book, uh, invest in one of the programs, right? Master in a Child here, um, yeah, the Twin Flame Union, right? Because this is about your fulfillment. This is union with self. Like I was saying before, uh, I was with my person, with my person, but I wasn't in union with myself. All right, and it led to a lot of self-sabotage. And it's it's about understanding and being in your truth, being in your element, okay? Here with your person, the, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Star, the Six of Pentacles. Your person's dependable, definitely, right? But let's just say it, slow as fuck, sitting on the fence. So they have this, they're dependable, right? For me, they're working on their confidence here. They're working on their independence here with the Queen of Wands. For me, they're having the strength here to go I don't know, your person might be religious. Having this faith. You know, it's like, or the star, it's like, you know, wishing, up, I'm getting this wishing upon a star. They're trying to create balance here within themselves, but it's hard. And it's because... Ugh, they feel that this is the thing is they feel the heaviness of their own burdens for say. They're giving me like the world. The hang on, you're breaking the card up. Why are you breaking the card up? All the three of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the partnership. Mm, okay. I just, I feel like your person's on the fence as well. They want, it's like, you know, they wish, they wish, they wish. It's like this, I wish upon a star business. But it's just the heaviness. Oh, it's just too hard, but I can't do this. I can't do that. 
I think about you constantly. It's insane. Going backwards and forth, backwards and forth. It's like this real pacing. You know, they want to come in, but it's like the heaviness of the world. Being with you reminds me of home. Right? They want this. They want to just be. This is the thing. And I feel as if this is this is definitely you as well. You know, just that, fuck, I just want to be. And you can choose that. It's about finding the third path here. Life is... Ugh. It's about taking the life that you want and making the changes and being committed to that divine feminine. I do see twin flame signs, all right? All right, guys, I struggle to experience, I struggle to express my love and feelings, so I keep it to myself. So I feel as if, you know, you're feeling this, the burdens of this world, right? And it's, it's about transmuting that and finding a way, right? Transmuting that negative to a positive here. All right, guys. Okay. Details of booking me all in the box below. Take care.